Hey Lemans, welcome back to another video of mine. So, if you don't know already, Animal Jam's Halloween update came out to the game. I know I've been slacking on making update videos recently, although I couldn't miss out on this update. I love the Night of the Phantoms on Animal Jam, it's such a good vibe. Maybe even better than the Jamal it is. So I decided I'd make a video discussing everything in the update and review it. So, with that all said, let's jump right into the Halloween update in Animal Jam. So firstly, the animal of this month is the spooky vampire bat, and I was having a hard time figuring out if it was a reskin of the flying fox, but then I realized it's one of those copycat animals that AJHQ does now. Sort of like how the Korzak fox looks similar to the Arctic fox, they took the Arctic fox's model and altered it enough to make a new animal. So I assume that this is what they did for the vampire bat. Although looking at it compared to the flying fox, it does look pretty different, so they did a good job making it its own animal. I think the vampire bats are very cute, perfect for a Halloween themed animal in the game. I honestly like them better than the flying foxes, they feel way more bat-like. It also seems like there may be another animal, since at the very end of the trailer they show off a fox looking animal that has a skeleton design. It makes me think they might be adding a reskin animal as well, that or it's a skeleton costume clothing item. Either way, it seems very cute and scary. The pets they're adding this month are the star-nosed moles. I'm not really a fan of moles as an animal in real life, although I will say as Animal Jam pets they look super cute. They look all fluffy and their little star noses are adorable. Although, I wouldn't really say that they're on theme with Halloween. Honestly, it's strange that AJHQ decided to release the moles for the Halloween update. I just feel like there could have been a better animal for this month. But if they brought moles in September or November, that would have been fine. I just don't know why it had to come in October. But that's my only real complaint, and I'm not going to get too upset as they always bring back so many other Halloween themed animals, like the pet ghosts, vampire bats, and whatnot. Plus, it seems like they're adding a pet Frankenstein bunny, like how they did with the pet puppy and kitty for the last few years on their Halloween updates. I also think they may be bringing some sort of pet bat. Like, not the vampire bat, but I can't tell if it's just the painted bat, as the pattern looks different. Either way, I'm sure there'll be lots of cool pets to choose from. The Halloween den they're bringing looks pretty cool. It's called the Haunted Theme Park, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a theme park that's haunted. With a spooky train ride, you can go around the den. It also seems to have really cool new theme park items that are meant for the den. I love the overall spooky aesthetic of the den, and it definitely captures the vibes of Halloween. It also does have some den space for regular decorating, which is always nice. It's the perfect den for the spooky season. At the very end of the trailer for the update, they show off a purple crack in the ground, with the Alpha Sir Gilbert looking down at it. This is going to be a portal into a dungeon of phantoms that we'll be able to enter, and Peck is supposedly trapped there. From what I assume in this update, we'll have to try to save Peck. And for the Phantom Dungeon, Cosmos created something called Dark Seeds, which are new seeds added to Animal Jam that we'll have to collect. The deeper you get into the dungeon, the more corrupt the Dark Side energy gets, and the Dark Seeds basically help the jammers in the dungeons as they absorb the corruption and lock it away. There is also a part about the Chamber of Knowledge. I guess there will be some history compiled there by Zioa. Also, I don't know who this new Zioa character is, or why it sounds so similar to Zeos. Pretty sure it's this eagle thing. Either way, it seems like there will definitely be lots of fun story stuff in this Night of the Phantoms update. Animal Jam HQ also brought their Epic Night of the Phantoms bundle. This year they're bringing Phantom, Koala, Coyote, and some spooky pet tokens, the Spy Lair Den, the Outback Hideaway Den, and tons of accessories and den items. Personally, there's nothing too exciting for me in the bundle. I already have all the animals and dens, but for anyone who needs the Phantom, Koala, Coyote, or the dens, definitely make sure to get this bundle. Lastly, they brought back the Haunted Mansion Den, the Spooky Party, and the Halloween-themed Pack Run. They also brought back the Super Sweets and Light in the Dark minigames, so definitely don't miss out on those. And that brings us to the end of the video. The Halloween update on Animal Jam is always great. They always bring so many awesome animals and pets, plus a very cool new Halloween-themed den, and always bring back older Halloween dens too. Not to mention all the cool mysteries and story stuff they add every Night of the Phantoms. Overall, I think I'd have to give this update a 9 out of 10. 
I know, predictable. Although, watch any of my other update videos I've posted and you'll see I do give fair reviews. The only reason this update gets a 9 out of 10 is because of the Halloween update hype and all of the new and old features they bring. I would have liked if they brought a different pet for this month, as the moles aren't very spooky to me, but as I said, it's not a big deal. Also, if you're wondering why I didn't give it a 10 out of 10, it's because I don't think this Halloween update is as insane as previous ones. I honestly feel like last year's and the year before had more exciting things for their updates. But again, this one is still great. Anyways, what do you guys think of this update? What's your favorite part about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching this video. It's been Lehman Puppy. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys all next time.